Here's a low nose tech quick review under two minutes. Hopefully. Have you ever heard of that saying, you don't know what you need to have until you have what you know what you need? Probably not because I think I just made that up. But I think that phrase sums up this Fantech E1 Max Mini electric screwdriver. And I can't begin to explain to you how this has made things so much easier for me. No longer am I sifting through different tool sets looking for the right size or tool. And I think that's something we all need in our lives. No messes, keep it simple, and just work. Wouldn't you agree? Well, the Fantic E1 Max Mini electric screwdriver is a precision screwdriver set with 50 magnetic precision bits. Two gears of torque from high to low and also a manual mode or a lock mode. It's cordless and it's the perfect repair tool companion for things such as your tablet, your phone, camera, laptop, and things alike. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that this is all in one. Everything is set in this compact case. You don't need any more, more anything else more than this. Nice solid like metal or tin kind of construction build that you have right here. Um, on the top, you can see all you have to do is just press here, which opens everything up. Two things are gonna happen. Uh, the actual housing or the case that holds all the bits is gonna pop out and the actual screwdriver is gonna pop out as well. So when we press it, boop, you see how this comes out. Every now and then that doesn't come out. So let's try it again. There you go, it just came out. So we'll pull it out. We've got our screwdriver right here. And yeah, you got your um, your Titan, your Lucin. And when you press it, a little light comes on there as well. You've got your space where you can put your drill bits. Uh, you have a high torque position. Let's focus in. You've got a high torque position right there. Let's take this off. You've got a high torque position right there. You have a lock mode and of course a low torque position right there. Uh, this of course is so you don't strip the bolts or if you have some uh, some devices where they don't want the screws too tight, they just want it secure, you'd probably want it in the low, uh, low mode uh, right there. You've got a charging port in the bottom right there as, as well as an included charging cable for it, USB-A to USB-C. And of course your, uh, your forward and backward like I said before. Now, again, Bring it out and just look at this. You just have a ton of bits right here from, you've got H bits, you've got SL bits, P bits, L bits, uh, P, P bits, just so many things. Uh, you've got a you've got a screw or a bit picker right here. Uh, you've also got a tool right here to actually get into different devices, such as like if you got to get under the screen of your phone or your of your tablet, you've got this right here. Also used to open up controllers uh, as well. And yeah, and of course, just like I said before, it's a 50 piece uh, tool bit set. So yeah, as well, right here, you've got a little magnetic piece or placement to hold uh, your screws magnetically. And this is non-magnetic right there. So yeah, this is just a lot of bits. Uh, right now I'm gonna give you an example of how I use this to open and fix this uh, my this Xbox controller for my kids. Really simple, it happened really, went really fast. So yeah, so let's just get straight into it. Um, let me pick the bit first. Oh, actually before, let me, before we get to that, uh, not only can you use this on electronic devices, but you can also use it on little tougher devices as well. So, oh. all right, so I'm going to put this right here. All right, I'm gonna put this on lock mode because I don't um, I don't want to use the motor. And here is my monitor that I have to decide. And of course, you've got like this little, whoop, you've got these little things right here. I can either loosen it. Oh, come on, turn it. There we go. I can either loosen the monitor. So we're gonna go back and forth, or I can use it again to tighten it as well. So if you've got devices that take a little more just wrenching, uh, you can use this as a regular screwdriver when used within the, oh, it wasn't a lock mode, within the lock mode, oh boy. Uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind. All right, so let's switch out my bits. Let's switch out to the one where I actually want to open up this controller. And I believe it is, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, here we go, this one, I think it was this one, so. I believe this is uh, the the T9H. All right, so we'll go right here. All right, and we'll go to low speed. You know, unwind. So I'll start right here, down here, and see if we can get a nice shot of it. Open up my controller.
And I can see with the tool set, I'm able to just take apart my controller and fix whatever I need to fix with it. It was really simple, it was really so cool. Like I said before, before I have to use find different tools for this, but now everything is just in this right here. And then, you know, if I want, oh. And if I needed to, I can just go ahead and just set everything back up like I need to as way before. And this will just tighten it up real quick again. Now, one of the reasons why I like this is because of a low torque mode, I can tighten the screws all the way enough without jamming it. Uh, you know, I know we're talking about this, but with these, when you're taking them apart, you don't want to tighten them too tight. Otherwise the sticks become not responsive. So when I find out when I use this on the low mode, it tightens it just enough. And we're back in working again. All right, so not only can you use it on that, we can also use it on finer things such as a tablet. We're gonna go do real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. Unfortunately, uh, my son, he broke, my son kind of ruined my tablet. So I'm just kind of using it now as an experiment for this video. So let's find the right tip for this right now. So put this down and we got some really, really tiny bits right there. Ooh, super tiny. Uh, so let's see if I, if I can find the right one. Now, one thing you'll see is that it has a diagram of what kind of bit it is. Right here, you've got kind of like a peace sign grip. Then you have some square grips right here, a triangle grip, a circle grip, uh, and then some more unique kind of grips uh, as well. Of course, we have a regular cross grip that we may use. And I think that's probably what I'll need for this next one right here. So I think I'm gonna go with the this one right here. Let's see if this is small enough to open this up. Yes, it is. Then I can just, there we go. Oops, did it come out? And, oh, it just fell down. And there we go. Of course, I can just put it right here in my magnetic spot so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, so let me show you my final thoughts with the, um, the Fantech uh, EX1 uh, Mini Precision School Driver set. First of all, I, I love this. Again, uh, I'm not having to go all over the place. Oh God, could it be in the big one, the small one, whatever tool set, everything is put together in this one and all I have to do is just charge it and I'm good to go. It has a storage container. It has all sorts of devices so I can not only screw, but I actually can get into devices as well and do what I need to do as far as, you know, really uh, sensitive and meticulous uh, uh, operations when I'm getting into it. Um, I love the fact that it's battery power. You have a high and low torque. If you come, you're coming something that's just a little bit tighter, such as maybe camera equipment, put it in the lock mode and just kind of use it as a screwdriver itself. And I love how everything is just selfish, self-sufficient, compact, all in one. Really trying to time this out. Space, just like that. If there's one gripe that I had about this, um, no, I really, I really, I really don't. I, w I wish it did have some. No, it actually does. I'm, 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 I'm wishing something that it already does have. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, normal size screwdrivers. You know, do I wish that it had maybe like a higher torque? Yeah, probably, but this is for more precise things that you're going to be using. You're not going to be putting furniture together with this. Uh, but yeah, I really don't have anything bad to say about this. Been using, I've been testing this out for about a week now. Um, over time, I'll see more about it, but if I've had anything new to share about it, I'll share it with you. All right, uh, that's it. This is the Fantech E1 MDX Precision Mini, scr mini Screwdriver Set with 50 pieces. Really hope this video guide video helped you out, guys. Take care. Bye. As always, I'll leave links in, links in the description down below so you can pick up your own precision screwdriver sex of the Fantech uh, Mini X1, EX1 Mini MDX. Um, also, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any other videos like this. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope this helped you out. Bye.